How's it going everyone? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh KD. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the first round of the playoffs, what is pretty basically the quarterfinals. Um, the top eight teams have been solidified and we are amongst them. Um, now, today we're going to be taking on the DC Starmies and it's really Timmy B. He came off of a win against uh, the Detroit Luxrays uh, in the playing match, so therefore we have to play them. Um, and a win here means a, a date with uh, either the Montebello Morpico or uh, the SXS Beyonds, which is going to be a lot of fun regardless. But um, you guys should definitely check out Timmy's link down below. Go subscribe to him. Go check out his content he's got going on. Um, and, of course, check out all the other coaches in the league. Whether they've been, you know, eliminated or not, it doesn't matter. Go check them out. They're all fantastic people. Um, so be sure to subscribe to everyone and all that good stuff. Um, now I'm going to get this out of the way now. Um... Uh, I am wearing a hood. My hair looks like absolute garbage. I know what a hoodie underneath a button up makes zero sense, but my hair looks like absolute garbage. <laughs> so I just put on a hood uh, and I just put the button up over it because I've been wearing my sweater like this all day, but I just put a button up over it. So I just want to get that out of the way. Uh, <laughs> my hair looks like absolute garbage. Um, and I didn't feel like fixing it. Uh, now I'm going to be honest when it comes to this matchup, uh, not that we have a bad matchup. It's more so uh the motivation levels for the season have definitely taken a nosedive ever since week two honestly it's just been doing this so uh coming into this week i didn't even want to practice battle at all i came up with my game plan i have my team I pro i'm not throwing i promise i am trying this match um and you guys are gonna see my team and you're probably gonna think i am throwing but i promise this is, this is a team i actually did think about consulted a couple other people about so i think it's a team that definitely can combat um combat timmy's well but um but yeah so i'm not throwing i promise you guys are gonna see my team you're gonna think i'm throwing i'm not throwing i promise um but if we lose the point of this is that if we lose i'm not gonna be upset <laughs> my season will be over the stress of this will be gone uh, or at least the competitive stress of this will be gone and i am just chilling so uh if we win we continue on it's fine i'm still gonna keep trying until we get knocked out legitimately um or if we win at all possibly um but if we lose, I'm not going to be that upset, honestly. <laughs> I'm not. Um, but yeah, regardless, we're going to get all linked up with Timmy. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when we're good to go. All right, we have found Timmy. And we're getting all set up here. Hopefully, he picks the right rules. <laughs> Shout out, Mike. <laughs> uh, yep, pick the rules. All right, so we're going with our Jimmy C team. I cleared out all the other ones, don't worry. Jimmy C, now you guys, there's no Naganadel again. This, that's that's what I was saying. I promise, I'm not throwing. There's a reason Naganadel just wasn't a good matchup against his team. I, I mean, yeah, if I got a free kill, it'd be cool and all, but um, it was very situational. The things I had to do with Naganadel, honestly. Um, so this is the team we're gonna rock with. We're actually gonna lead Porygon. I know you guys, you guys just like me probably forgot I even had Porygon. I forgot about it. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I really did. That's the reason why it stopped showing up uh, after week one. Um, but he brings more or less the team I would have expected him to bring. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much the team I expected him to bring. So I didn't bring um, the Ganadel to try and waste some of his move slots, and I also didn't bring Scizor to waste some of his move slots because I have a feeling he'll be carrying fire type moves um, and such. Uh, on on some of his pokemon so the hope the hope is that he leads mammoth swine and tries to set up the stealth rocks because then we can get off for free agility and with its spadef being as low as it is we'll get a special attack boost but let's see how it goes let's see how it goes who is he gonna lead with it's like the calmest i've been that's how much i've accepted whether i lose or not this is like the calmest i've been all season <laughs> he sends out the Volcarona. okay this was one of the leads I didn't really want. I'm gonna be honest, he's gonna quiver dance right away. We get a attack boost. Okay, that's not great. Okay, um, I kind of want to do this, but he's gonna raise his, his uh, which we call it. We're gonna go ahead and I can't switch. This thing's gonna quiver dance. I can go to you. Nah, we'll just stay in and try attack. Hope for a para. Quiver dance, yep. If he sweeps us with Volcarona, I'm honestly not gonna be upset. <laughs> so this is gonna do roughly 50%, maybe, maybe less. Probably less, honestly. 
I just need a para. Frozen. Boom. That's exactly what we needed. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this turn. Hopefully he stays frozen. We're going to nasty plot. Uh, do we agility or do we nasty plot here? I think we agility. And I'll speed it. Frozen solid. We're going to agility. And we're going to nasty plot, I think. And hope he stays frozen. I think we could take one hit. I think we could take one hit, but we do outspeed. Please stay please stay frozen. That would be big if he stayed frozen. He thought out. Okay. Flamethrower. Do we live? Barely. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Does he stay in here? I should have shadow balled. I should have shadow balled. Okay, we kill Volcarona. If Tri Attack did that much on the first one, it lived on one. What, dude? If Tri Attack, I was expecting it to kill. If Tri Attack did that much at the beginning. What? That's wild. Okay. Hmm. How do we want to approach this? I don't want to burn you just yet. It is plus one speed. I could send you out and get up to Stealth Rocks. Or I could Amnesia. <laughs> uh, I kind of like that play, not going to lie. I don't want to burn Nessie just yet. We'll do that. He's probably going to expect me to Stealth Rocks. And he might Quiver Dance again. That is a possibility. Or he could just straight up attack us. So... No, because I don't want Marsh to get set up. Shmoopy. Um. EQ kind of runs free on his team. We'll just EQ. Casey switches. Giga Drain? Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's going to get a nice chunk back. But its physical defense didn't get raised, so... That is a little problem, I guess. That's annoying that it lived, dude. If it didn't live, that would have been GG's. Uh, do you think he sends a Marsh out on Shadow Sneaks? I don't know why I'm asking like you guys can answer. <laughs> Venusaur, okay. Sunny Day. EQ. That's fine. Alright. He's saving that mammoth swine, which I don't like. It's tempting to Gigantamax. It's tempting. Not yet, though. But I'm okay with sending you in. Yeah, I'm okay with sending Nessie in. I know it's a grass type, but... Well, Ice Beam. Energy Ball. Okay. We built specially, so... We eat one. Mm. Oh, not that it matters, but that's annoying. I'm just, this is, it's going to live. Oh, almost didn't, actually. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... He's going to hit us again, so we may as well... May as well just stay in, right? May as well just stay in. Okay. He's going to get a nice little chunk back, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so now is not the time. I think we just send out Hot Team and see what we can do. We can get a free switch with Mimikyu, which is great. Uh, 
We can get a free switch of Mimikyu. Not even chancing it. We're just gonna Psychic Things. <laughs> Not even gonna chance it. He's got a plan for my Zashin. I already know it. It's probably GG's, honestly. Is he sending out Mewtwo already? Just out of curiosity. No, no. He probably goes to like. Probably goes to Mamo to get off an Ice Shard. Oh no, he went straight for the Mewtwo. He's gonna Dynamax. <laughs> he's either gonna Dynamax or he's gonna Nasty Plot or Agility, something. Do I want to give him that free return? Yeah, we'll give him the free turn. If he wants a nasty plot, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So we burn a turn to the Dynamax. I wish... I wish I could have gotten the Thunder Wave off, but it's fine. It's okay. Max, max Airstream? Probably. So we burn one turn of Dynamax, that's for sure. Max Mindstorm, okay. So he's gonna make his Psychic more powerful. He breaks our Disguise. That's fine. I don't think we take a hit from Mewtwo. <laughs> I think it's probably safe to say. I don't want to chance the... We'll just Shadow Sneak, I think. Actually... Because I don't really want to Dynamax Rotom just yet. Mmm. Yeah, no. So we'll just do this. We're gonna max card. Max card, stall another turn. All that good stuff. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Should I try the max card again? Nah. No, we won't. We won't. We won't chance it again. Max Phantasm. Okay, so he is carrying Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball, Psychic, maybe Psych Strike. This sets up Misty Terrain. This lowers his defense stat. I don't think we take one hit. But on the chance we do, I mean, it burns his turn, so. And if Mimikyu dies, that's fine with me, because then I can come in on a non Dynamax Me Too. We lived! That's big. That's big. That is big. So we're gonna lower its defense. This is gonna do a nice chunk. Nothing too, yeah, more or less what I would've expected. Nothing too crazy. Lowered its defense, which means he might switch on this turn. Which is fine. If he switches, I'm gonna click this if he switches. He stays in, okay, that's fine. It is tempting to send you in first. Hmm. No, we'll just let Hati come in. We'll let Hati come back in. I think we played that Dynamax well. What doesn't a crunch hit? I mean, it hits everything on his team, really. So, we're gonna crunch. That's me too dead. There's a good chance Zasha can pull this off, but... 
Psychic terrain is gone. There's an there's an okay chance Sash can pull this off. There's a couple things he can do that can definitely stop me. Haxers, Mamoswine, 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 Marshadow. Okay, Shadow Sneak. He wants to get some chip damage in. I'm assuming. I'm not gonna risk the miss, so we're gonna psychic things. Okay, interesting. That was interesting. <laughs> Haxers dies to a player off. Unless we miss, which would be really unfortunate. That's Mima Swine. It is very temp tempting to switch into... Yeah, actually, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. It's got thick fat, I know, but... Overheat's still going to do a nice chunk. Ice Shard. That's fine. He's got thick fat, so it's going to take this hit relatively well. Assuming we hit, but... He withdrew. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Mold Breaker. He's got Earthquake. He's got Earthquake on this thing, for sure. That did a lot. That did a lot. Holy, I did not expect it to do that much. We're going to Thunder Wave. I think we just let... Yeah, I think we just let it go down. We Thunder Wave. If he wants to try and D-Dance, that's fine with me. That's fine. Because I'm 99% sure I don't really want to hit player off just in case I miss. I don't. So I'm 99% sure all the other moves will kill. So we're going to Sacred Sword in case he switches. Oh, I thought it lived for a second there. I think we played our Zashin really, really well. And I know Mamo can take one hit. I know Mamo can take one hit. So if he's smart here, he'll just click like EQ or a strong move he has. If he's smart, he'll just, yeah, he'll just click a strong move. We almost one shot. What does he do? Iron Head. Okay. We live. Oh, that's GG's. Oh, man. That was that was good. That was good. Ice Shard? How much does that can do? Not going to kill. Yeah. Not going to kill. Sacred Sword will. GG's. I think we played our Zashin really, really, really well. Honestly. I think we played our Zashin really, really well. I'm going to give myself credit on that one. I think we played our Zashin really, really, really freaking well. Honestly, it, it racked up one, two, three, four, five kills. I think we played it really well with the switches, sacrificing certain Pokemon to make sure Zashin could get up front. I think we did really, really well. Credit to Timmy, though. He is... I wasn't going to say this until it happened. Um, Timmy is the first competitor to force us to have all six Pokemon on the field. Um, so credit to Timmy, but... I think we played that really, really well. The start, if, if if Porygon gets that kill, I mean, he probably sends in Mamoswine to Ice Shard. But at the very least, Volcarona wouldn't have taken out Rodriguez. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown away Rodriguez that early. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I think we played the Dynamax well. And I think we played Zashin really, really well. So, that was that was a fantastic match. GG's, Timmy. Um, and next week, I'm going to spoil it. Okay, so if you guys want to watch the match between Montebello and Essex, go check it out. Um, before, you guys got three seconds. Three Two, one, we're taking on the SX Espeons. We're taking on the Poke Pitch in a rematch, um, which is going to be really interesting. It's going to be a bang out, but we make it to the semifinals for the first time since my first season. Um, so, like I said, if we lost, that would have been okay, but we won, so I'm going to keep chucking on. We're going to keep fighting. This is kind of lit a little fire underneath me, I'm not going to lie. Motivation's coming a little back um, because I really want to beat Pidge. So, um, 
So yeah, <laughs> we'll be back next week to take on the Essex Espions in the semifinals. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, check out Timmy's link down below alongside all the other coaches and the Elite Battle League channel. I did not plug that. I do videos over there as well, so be sure to check that out. And of course, be sure to share yourselves with our friends, family, everyone you know. Let's be now long here. Where it's at. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.